Okay, so for this client, um, they have installed Associate Press on a subdomain, uh, it looks like, and they wanted to use Associate Press to add Amazon products or to build a store, an Amazon affiliate store, but also previously this site was going to be a ClickBank site. Um, and the client doesn't want to lose the ClickBank stuff that was on the site, um, but they also want to use it as an Amazon site. So um, to clear this up just a little bit, let's take a look at the site. Okay, so here's, here's the site. And you can see that the customer has added some products. Um, it looks like baby products. Um, and so basically what we're going to look now is at the uh, categories that the client has made. Um, so we got cooking, uh, food, wine, uh, garden. So there's a bunch of different categories. I really don't see any categories. Well, there's one baby. Okay. So they kind of got a, a really a, a, a different categories and different types of sites. So basically what I think is going on here is I think the client um, has kind of started in the wrong direction or maybe needs help uh, uh, really focusing on what they should do with each of their sites. So what we're going to do here is is try to get this thing a little bit uh, better organized and going in the right direction. So let's take a look before we get going on that. Let's take a look at um, what the ClickBank stuff may have been. Um, and just looking at the categories, um, looking at them here, most all of these categories are going to be Amazon type categories. Um, and but here, online business is not. Um, this is going to be more of a ClickBank niche. Okay, so I'm going to take a look in this category. So my guess is that um, before adding this. Uh, the store theme and before adding Associate Press, um, the it was going to be a ClickBank type site. I see two uh, posts here that are more than likely ClickBank type stuff. And obviously this stuff don't go with this particular theme. What we have to keep in mind is this theme is, is the bonus theme that you got with Associate Press. This, this theme is is only one, used for one purpose, and that is to quickly make an Amazon affiliate store. Okay, it only has one purpose. So what we have here is a, a client that's uh, uh, wanting to do a bunch of different things, different focuses on one particular uh, site, and really that's not what we um, recommend that you do. We have to have this focused. If you're going to do an Amazon affiliate site, you're, you're going to use this theme, then you need to focus it on one niche, one product type, okay, initially. So let's go in and take a look at the customer's uh, software or plugins that they have installed on the site. Okay, so there's really no ClickBank software on the site. Um, so what I would recommend um, in this in this particular case is uh, doing another installation for ClickBank stuff. Since we have mostly on this side, it only looks like we have two posts, um, two posts here for ClickBank type stuff, and the rest of it, um, the customer, the client has made um, what mostly is um, Amazon affiliate products. Okay, so we're talking about baby cooking and wine, and we want to make sure to, if we're going to use this as a store, we need to have it focused on one niche. So um, this site should be all about cooking food and wine, or it should be all about baby products, or it should be all about garden and home, or it should be green products, um, or it should be health and fitness. It shouldn't be all of those. Now, the next thing we need to do is take a look at the customer's um, file manager, see what domains or subdomains um, that exist, and that will give us an idea of where to go from this point. Okay, so um, we're looking at the uh, main domain for, for this client. It looks like their main domain is, um, I'm not sure why the main domain, they've chosen this domain. Okay, I'm not sure why. Um, but they have, and, and so we have to work with that. So what we need to do is take a look and see if there's any other domains that's been added to this particular account. 
So what we need to do is just find the domains um, area for this particular uh, uh, client's or cPanel. And th these are a little bit different. So um, we're going to come down and take a look at add-on domains. Okay, so we, we only have really um, one add-on domain, and we just got a general or generic type uh, domain. So we really don't have anything to work with there, so we're going to go back home. Now, my recommendation here would be um, the customer wants to do a ClickBank site about online marketing or online business. Now, obviously, I recommend that you go get a domain specifically for that and put an installation on that. Okay, um, that's what... And, and go get a domain for um, the Amazon site, okay? Um, you you want to keep everything niche focused, so and that's the way you're going to have to use domains. Now, in this particular case, um, let's just pretend like um, the customer doesn't want to grab any more domains, and all we have really to work with is the main domain. We can work with that, so let's do that. So one of the first things we need to do is let's determine what this particular site, the one that we've been looking at, is going to be focused on. Let's go ahead and make this site an Amazon site, but we need to figure out what niche we're going to go after. Okay, so do we want to be in the baby niche or the cooking niche, uh, cooking uh, food and wine? Um, we need to determine that. So let's let's go ahead and make this particular site or, or go ahead and choose to go with baby. OK, and so let's say that the customer is going to go with a baby um, store. What we will do is go ahead and create a, uh, a new subfolder um, just for this baby store. Now, one thing we can do is go in and take this site. We can clone it so that we don't have to start all over when we do make that other subfolder to go and create a baby product uh, store. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and clone this. Now, I use a specific plugin that I've used all the time, and uh, so I'm going to use WP Clone. I'm not sure if the WP Clone is compatible with this server, this client server, but that we'll, we'll find out. So I'm going to upload WP Clone. So we're just going to install that, and we'll activate it, and we'll go ahead and make a clone of this site. Now, normally, if I knew that the the client server um, is compatible with WP Clone, what I would do is before I go and make the new subfolder and install the site, um, I would go ahead and build the site on this particular domain or on and just so that um, it'll be all ready. But I'm not going to do that because I'm not sure if um, it works yet. So I'm going to build the site while it's on the other domain. So I'm going to go ahead and clone this particular site. Okay, so we're just going to click on Create Backup. Now, the reason we're doing this, whether we're putting a site on a subdomain um, or a subfolder, we want to at least have one keyword within the URL. So when we clone this site, we're going to go and install it on a folder called um, Baby. We're going to at least have Baby in the URL. So we'll probably call, probably call it Baby Store. So it looks like the client server is not responding really well. So what I'm going to do is go back to um, the client cPanel, and we're going to go ahead and um, install WordPress, a fresh, clean um, installation of WordPress in a subfolder. Okay, so what we're going to do is go down and take a look at what uh, installers this particular uh, hosting provider provides this client, and it looks like um, they provide Softculus and we're going to click on WordPress. Now while on Softculus, we're going to go ahead and click on install and here's where we're going to create a subfolder. Now we only have one domain to work with and that's this particular domain. So in a directory, we're going to call it baby store. And we're, this is where we're going to make our store for baby products. Now, since I don't know if I'm going to be able to clone the site on this particular subdirectory, I'm going to go ahead and name the um, name the uh, give the site a name and tagline. Now, what you have to keep in mind is baby products is a wide niche in itself. I recommend even going down further. So, and that would be an example, or an example of that would be um, baby strollers, baby car seats. But let's make a store, and we'll go ahead and make it encompass um, all different types of baby products.
Now, these are general or generic terms which the client will be able to uh, choose or to uh, change and come up with new names. Let's go ahead and set a uh, administration password. Okay, so we're ready to install it. We're not going to put in any themes or anything like that, so we're just going to click install. And you see that finally the backup was successful, so we have it here just in case we need it. Now, I, I am noticing that it is a pretty large file, um, so um, there's probably, there may be a lot of things on this that I didn't see. But in any case, we're going to leave this open so that we can reference back to it when we make the new site. Okay, so a fresh WordPress is installed on our subfolder called Baby Store. So let's log in and get started. Now, in this particular case, um, what the original plan was is to clone this site and bring it over and put it on the new site. Since it's such a large file and it's kind of disorganized, um, I'm going to choose to start over completely and build the site out from the very beginning using this as a reference, but um, a new site. So we know the customer, the client wanted to use Associate Press in the store theme. Um, so let's go ahead and make it with that. We always have options to change things, but since that was the what was being used before, let's go ahead and replicate that. So let's go ahead and install Associate Press and the bonus theme. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and do our video um, and then go from there. Okay, so we've got a pro, uh, Associate Press installed and activated. While we're here, we're going to go ahead and add our video plugin. And the video plugin we use is called Related YouTube Video. So we're just going to do a search here for Related YouTube. And we're going to install, okay, Related YouTube Videos. And we will go ahead and act. Now, since Associate Press uh, works with All-in-One SEO, we're going to go ahead and add that too. So a search for All-in-One. Okay, all in one SEO, we'll go ahead and install that. And we're going to click activate. Now, before we start adding products, let's go ahead and bring in op, uh, WP Optimize, um, which will uh, do our interlinking for us. Okay, um, it's not used much on uh, store sites, but it is helpful. Now, what you're going to run into is you have two plugins named the th same thing. Okay, so um, WP Optimize, sometimes I use that and it, that cleans up your site. Okay, that's something totally different. So we're not going to install and activate this WP Optimize. We're going to install WP Optimize by X Traffic. Okay, install. And we'll go ahead and activate it. Okay, so let's go ahead and install the bonus. Uh, okay, so we're just going to upload Associate Press theme. Okay, so we got our theme installed. Let's go ahead and do a couple things real quick. Let's go to settings. We need to set our permalink structure. We're going to go ahead and choose post name and click save. Okay, we're going to go to writing. I'm going to go ahead and put in a list of update services. Okay, so we have a list here. Um, that's also in your downloads um, for Associate Press. I'm going to paste that here and click save changes. Okay, the next thing we'll do is go ahead and go to reading. And we're going to show our latest post, but we're going to put this up um, probably to uh, 22. Oops. Okay, we're going to change that to 22. may go down to 18, but we'll see. Click save. So let's get, go ahead and take care of our pages. So we're going to go to pages. And we're going to get rid of the sample page. Okay, so now we're going to go and delete it from the trash. We're going to click Empty Trash. Now, one thing I'm going to do here before I do, um, well, what we can do is go ahead and create um, an About Us page. Okay, so we're going to click Add New. The About Us page is very important to your site, so I recommend that you always do that. Okay, so we're going to do About Us. I'm going to give you a little tip on using this bonus theme. The bonus theme um, does a very poor job of managing menus. So I'm going to show you how we're going to get around that because we're going to have um, a few different pages. 
So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and um, first we need to add our legal pages, our Amazon disclosure and things like that. We need to get that out of the way. But when we do that, um, that's going to create a bunch of pages for us. It's going to mess up our menu, um, kind of like what you're going to see here. You see the menus up here? We need to be able to control this menu. Now, um, unfortunately, this particular uh, template um, doesn't really do a good job of letting us um, control these templates or they control the menus. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and add our legal pages. And um, I use a certain plugin. The plugin I use is Instant Legal Pages. I recommend it highly. Grab that plugin. It's a great plugin. You will use it on all of your sites. Okay, Instant Legal Pages. Just do a search for it and go grab it. It's great. Very, very inexpensive. Now we're going to add a, menu, a plugin that's going to allow us to control the menu a little bit better. And we're going to exclude pages or exclude pages from menu. Or navigation I can't remember okay so I think the plugin is include excluded pages so um, I think that's it we'll go ahead and click let me try something real quick do a search for exclude from navigation okay yeah this is the plugin that we're going to be using so I'm going to go to insta legal pages here, I'm going to check this box to show all of our legal pages in the footer of our site. That way, we don't have to worry about it. And we're also going to show the Amazon disclosure. The client um, is going to be, I think, in a U.S. market. So we're going to leave that and then click Save Changes. So take a look at the site. You'll see the problem that we have. We, we have too many things in the menu. Um, and unfortunately, we can't change those in menus here. So what we're going to go, do is go to Pages. And we're just going to go to each one. Now, I did make a mistake. It was actually the wrong plugin. So our the plugin that we were looking for was Exclude Pages. Okay. This is the uh, uh, plugin we're going to use. So we're going to go to the first page, Affiliate Disclosure. And we don't need this in the top menu because it's automatically set in the footer of our site. So we're going to scroll down and you can see where it says exclude pages. We're going to uncheck that because we don't want to include it and we're just going to click update. We're going to do the same thing to the rest of the legal pages that were created. Okay, so you see all of the legal pages. Um, we're not going to do the contact us page, but all the legal pages we will. Okay, so here we go. We're going to the Amazon affiliate disclaimer. We're going to go ahead and uncheck that box, and this time we're going to publish that particular page. We're going to do the same thing with anti-spam policy. Okay, so now when we refresh our site, you'll see that we have our main pages on this side, our home link. This area is going to be the second um, or primary navigation that will hold um, either categories or other things that we put here. Now, at some point, we need to install our editor for Associate Press. Um, we will do that um, in time, but let's go ahead and start thinking about the categories for this particular site. Remember, it's baby products, so I'm going to show you how to add uh, multiple uh, categories at one time. 